Yeah, so that's Pike's Peak. So we're actually, we're like 2,000 feet below the, the top of Pike's Peak over there. Wow, that's tall. Space approach, Carney 1-4. Carney 1-4, Space approach. We're showing outside of the uh, Class Charlie. We're just requesting uh, altitude description to each, please. The plane. And Carney 1-4, uh, altitude your description. Uh, do you want to remain with me? Uh, a further for now, and uh, altitude distress or deletion uh, acknowledged for Carney 14. Thank you. Carney 14, first captain is open or mount other class Delta. Roco. Carney 14, Roco. Throttle, throttle. Traffic 3000. Three with the inner right base runway 17 right. Check Contact altitude. Tower 119.9. Right base 17 right, going to tower. Enjoy whiskey. Let's see. It's about the best angle I can get on it. So yeah, you got the chapel. Was that the Trazzo out there? Everything. Uh, you got buddy. the field right there. The, that yep. airport over there is their runway. Oh wow. I don't see this dude just yet. Still 3,000 people. Uh, yeah. I just didn't want to descend right on top of it. They had so many good memories. <laughs> <laughs> I guess they're still working on the church, huh? They are, they're still working on it. Or the restricted area too. Traffic on T-Cams, good. Falcon Stadium, I see. Okay, I got that traffic. That must be one of theirs. Yep, he's going into their airfield. Yep. <laughs> yeah, yeah that, that's the box I was confused. I was like, this is a giant box. That box? Yeah, it, I think they're building. Or re yeah, they've been working on it for like, I don't know, four, three or four years or something. It's been that long, huh? Yeah, I don't know when they're supposed to finish. Wow. They're going to take cool. that box off. It's going to be completely different. Different shape. <laughs> they wow. Either. That's actually the final form, it's just that cube. <laughs> it's it's modern. Yeah, so you're gonna be there soon enough, man. Wow, look at that. <laughs> oh, that's really good view. That's a good shot with the mountain behind and everything. Oh. Yeah. Departure, good morning, Skywest 5242, 7400, climbing 10,000, runway heading. Skywest 5242, strange departure, radar contact, uh, turn left heading 100, climb maintain 13,000. Turn left heading 100, climb maintain 13,000. I think all this space belongs to the Academy, too. So cool. Stupid amount of space. I think it's Great one of the biggest bases. Yeah. The stock land. All right. Number one six Juliet. Bye, Spring Academy. Coach, Bradbury, there you go. Uh, report established. Double months, man. Double months more. Cool. <laughs> Eevee jeebies. Eevee Okay. So this first waypoint, Woodland Park. It's going to be that uh, intersection. Curse target moved. Taws up. Yeah, and then can you give me a uh, abbreviated combat entry checklist? Give me a be. toss deck void and all that. Spring to approach, Marin 7254 Papa 10000. This guy was 242, cleared direct to Dane. Point of the record, Dane Sky was 5242. Number 7254 Papa Springs Approach. Yeah, we never use that or just do the applicable well, stuff. Zero vector, just the approach on the one right. Stuff. Sounds good. Right to Big day, zero vector for the uh, one seven right and uh, 7254 Papa. You can go right out, Papa, too. Happy.
Yeah, that should be about it. Start to gray out a little bit. Just try to flex your legs. Got it, yeah. Do you, do you have a barf bag on you? Yeah, I got some bags in me, just plastic bags Sweet. that I found. Just don't forget to breathe. Four, 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 six, seven, 15, that was my big thing in pilot training, is I would, I would forget to breathe and then I would get sick. Okay. Take two, zero, four, seven, left, uh, back to the one, two, three, right, right. So we're going to be going two to three degrees if we're engine out. Yeah. Southwest, 446, Roger, you expect runway one, seven, right? It was pretty out here. Spring approach, Moody 716 Juliet at Olay commencing the approach. At a wildlife area, 12 o'clock, about two miles. But. Juliet, yeah, if you go 270, it'll keep you out of it. Ah, yes, the fossil beds. Kind of cool. Whatever you want it, it's yours. I probably... Oh, uh, 30 minutes or so. Okay. 1, 2, 6, 5, 5, and 250 knots. Skyway is 52, 42. Good day. I think right in this mountain, right that way, and then kind of down the valley. Yeah, I think so. So this leads into it, and I think it goes that way. Follows this river in. Cool view at the left side. Oh, yeah. Wow. That's real cool.
Squawk 12. Yeah. There's no way they're seeing us anymore. Yeah, so this bridge should be right up here. Actually, let's see what this looks like. That water's cold. Yeah, right. Like, I don't want to go too low over the water. Yeah. <laughs> where there's like just there's not too much out here it's just mountains around you the distance yeah brought it up last time we were out here there's just nothing out here Take my GoPro with you. This this little one I have. How'd you lose your PQ? Well, I was on an airplane. <laughs> they said it was moderate. Is there a zero join a uh, final course approach course? Go to the visual one seven nine southwest four forty five. Gotcha. Are you mind taking it real quick? Yeah, yeah. we got gotcha. you. Just get up a little bit here. Yeah, no worries. Okay, I'm ready. Okay, copods controls. Oops. Copods controls. Just fire the setting for a second. Yep. I'm not sure I'm still set up.
Correct, Centennial 7, November Echo. to see where the uh, the plane takes us for this next point. Is it over the ditch? <laughs> Is it over the intersection? Uh, who knows? Okay, so yeah, we'll be coming in, I think right on the other side of this ridge is going to be the town of Fraser, or not Fraser, Fairplay. Road out of fair place. I'll yeah, should lead us right into it. And I'll catch that road. Switch approach, good morning, weather. Uh, 5 2 with you out of uh, 1 9000. Is that 1 6000 with the crest? Out of Alta Sunia. Alta Sunia, good morning. Afirm, we have Delta weather 5 2 looking for uh, right turn direct to Dane. Bumpy, Cross bumpy. Dane at 1 6, arc to final for procedure. ILS 1 7 left option uh, tower. Terrain, terrain. Yeah, that's just a clear. Screen bridge, Congo 6-3, checking in 10,000 on a heading of 320. So this next waypoint, Alma, to that, that high school in Breck, we're going to be in that canyon, so we'll need to make sure we got our, our speed and altitude to climb. That's very stuff. cool. Terrain. 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 Clear. Set the route out to the oh, gotcha. Are your hands supposed to feel tingly sometimes? Are your hands tingly right now? A little bit. Are you cold or? Out of four, or uh, approach for Oiler 5 2. Confirm down to 1. I feel one, good one, though. I feel alright. 7,000 feet. Let me know if it, like, it gets more. Okay. Bring a water or something? Yeah, do you have water? Yeah, I got water. Let's duck. Keep passing the water. My backpack. <laughs> yeah, thank you. There's our valley. Just back me up, it's gonna be this right one. Yeah. Looks like we got a tailwind right now. Yeah, I think it's gonna be right at the point again. I don't know why we could get chunks to update this one. This one's yeah, that was really, really strange. Bizarre. Yeah, because our point should be over there, right? Yeah. Or like slightly left. I mean, to be very fair, it's it's taking us where we thought it was. So that intersection right there should have been our point. Yeah. Yeah. Or right where we thought we'd be. Maybe we should have just made that the update. It's a good valley. Yeah. Throttle, throttle. Oh, I'm gonna lose the digi map. But we might come back into it. Do you see Top Gun 2? Oh, yes. This is exactly what they were doing. Really? <laughs> <laughs> 
Except for the fighter. <laughs> yeah, except they're going through. They're going 500 miles faster. And then they go inside that one mountain. They go all the way up. Yeah. Oh gosh. There's snow still. Wow. Oh, yeah, dude, my uh, my father-in-law was out here skiing the other day. Must be nice. So we're gonna come down this valley, we'll cross over the town. I see uh Fraser over there, I see the lake. Yeah. Just a few towers on either side of the road coming up here a little bit. Probably just lost reception. Oh, the scary on your left, there's Breckenridge. Looks like it's closed. None of those lifts are running. Yeah. Just a couple gazillion dollars running through this town every year. It's crazy. You can buy a uh, 800 square foot apartment, like studio apartment out here for 1.2 million. Yeah, that seems worth it. Jesus. <laughs> I bet you these houses are like six million dollars each. Oh, lake's still frozen. Yeah, I think just on this side. I got the school inside. Okay. Oh, yep, see, this could have been better. Oh, okay, analysis on us. We're coming over this ridge real awkwardly. Yeah. Like swept in that way. Yeah. yeah. So I got winds from the left to the right, so that's the up one side. There you go. Point. Frozen Lake. So I'm going to go off to the right here and then we'll do a left hand turn and we'll catch the freeway and come back. It's real cool. Should be a uh, 300 foot ish tower. I think it's the one on top of that hill. Out there? Yeah. I got some right there. Oh man, that's cool. Plenty of space. It's crazy that that's the tallest tower. But it's just on top of that hill. Yeah, the hill's getting it up high. Okay, we should come through this valley. Following I-70, Cooper, Ski Cooper's gonna be right in front of us. We're gonna go left to the ski area. Okay, we got wind. 
Jones from the left. So hugging the right hand side will help keep us from being bumpy. Copy. That was a really good time to watch for those power lines with the big orange ball. So. Terrain, terrain. That looks really clear. There's the ski area. Throttle, throttle. A few towers scattered along this leg, but they're all about 100 feet tall, so it'd be a little hard to see with all these trees. down the valley. Have a little bit of extra speed if we need to pop up at all. Gotcha. Slopes are looking pretty brown. Those guys over there. Is this a quarry or a lake? I think I had a lake. Well, I guess... I don't know. I don't know. There's a quarry. Yeah. Oh yeah, jeez. Yeah, I'll get it dug in there. It's a big one. Uh, let's see, any power lines? Bank uh, angle. Whoop. No, it's coming back. Yeah, I'm generally just like, I guess I'm kind of hugging the tops of these valleys. How you doing? <laughs> doing alright, doing alright. Right. How's those fingers? A little tingle, but I don't know what that means. Like, you know when you have a, sli a sleepy foot, like your foot's falling uh, asleep? Oh yeah, that's kind of what it feels like. Yeah, my, my hands are feeling falling asleep. You eat? What was that? You have something to eat. Yeah, I got lunch. Peanut butter jelly. Breathing hard on me too back there. Bad thing, good thing, fine too. We got a big flat spot for a second. We can take it, take it easy for a little bit if you need. Yeah. Rest 
What do you have it set to? Uh, one and five. That's fine. Do you do like four and five? Yeah, I'll change it. Outside the corridor is five. So this is Leadville. And what? This is, I think, the. Actually, if you want to get it for me, there's a Lakeville. Lake County's right there. The airport will stay to the left. Oh, yeah, there it is. We're about to see. Yeah, I think that's the highest everybody. airport in the, in the U.S. At 99.34, that's crazy. They feel stiff, tingling. It's like I kind of bend it, but I feel like my they're asleep. And my toes a little bit. Breathing. Um, what we got? Seven thousand feet. For the yeah. Altitude. When you said tingly, my first thought was like that's my hypoxia. Symptoms. Yeah. Uh, I'm feeling okay. You feel okay? <laughs> <laughs> One plus one equals five. Yeah. Oh, shit. Just trying, we're cruising down this valley for a little while, so I'm trying to take it easy. It's definitely bumpy, but... Weird, all these little personal ponds down here. Are you hot, uh, no, are you hot or cold or anything? Uh, I feel normal. <laughs> I don't feel cold or hot. <laughs> I just feel like my hands are constricted, like they feel tight. I don't know what to do. Take some deep breaths. Yeah, your body's not getting oxygen here. Fingers and toes very well, probably right now. Yeah. It's because the excitement. Well, yeah. I mean, we're at 7,000 feet, so we're, we're 5,000 feet higher than we are. Uh, right, yeah. so that's. People who come to Denver feel, uh, you know, altitude sickness issues, so I'd be curious. Theoretically, you can uh, bump the cabin down a bit. We could, and it'll correct itself, won't it? Yeah, I'll scroll it down. Put it at, uh, put it at five. Yeah, differential's only 2.8, so we got a little bit of wiggle room. Let's see if that helps you a little bit. We have the doctor uh, to measure your vital signs to see if it makes any difference. Yeah, we have the vital signs. open my hands, I can't move my hands. Can't move your hands? Our fingers so tight. Like, like blood rush to your fingers? What does that mean? Whoa, that was a good one. Sorry. That one got all of us. <laughs> Not feeling sick, are you? Not sick, just my hands, like, they feel hard to move. I don't know if that helps. Climb up if we need, we can get above the mountains. Okay. Throttle, throttle. Get out of the bumps for a minute. We got 6,000. Fire. 
it's like I'm, I'm we're climbing, we're climbing, we're still well below the mountains. <laughs> we're climbing. Yeah. Thousand to go. It's interesting further south down here too that the snow is kind of gone. I always wonder where these people get their groceries. They hunt them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thousand to go. Just got freezers full of... Freezers full of elk meat. Ooh, don't do that plane. What are you doing? Autopilot. Autopilot. Thirteen five might have been the happy altitude. Check yeah, altitude. fish hatchery. Oh yeah, that was a pretty good one. Yeah, it's not bad. Sure, I'll do R two. How are they doing? Are they still stuck? Did you move them at all? Hard. Left three six zero four. I don't know if this is me just panicking right now or they feel like they're frozen. Sorry. You're freaking no, out. No, 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 no. You're good. You all nervous? Freaking out, man. I think so. I don't think I'm psyching myself out. My hands are. I feel my hands are getting tight and I'm freaking out. I've taken lots, lots of deep breaths. Yeah. Nice and slow. Okay. I'm going to level us at 16.5 and we'll go start heading that way. Yeah. Autopilot. Oh, don't do that airplane. Autopilot. Nobody has time for you. Check altitude. Very nice, but I finally found soft air, so leave me alone. That's a pretty sweet view. So this pass right here, I think Independence Pass is up here. I don't know if you've ever driven it, but it's uh, awesome. I don't know if I've driven this far the, or this far west. Um, like the most, I think the furthest, the furthest I ever went, we did 24 all the way down to the springs. That's a nice drive. But this looks like it'd be a little better for sure. Hey, morning. My morning. buddy and I would drive uh, uh, on our way back from college because we're in Arizona. You could either take like 25 to Albuquerque and then, or was it 40 to Albuquerque and then 25 north? But more often we take the longer route. We just cut diagonal through the mountains through here, go through like Durango and everything. Go it's one of those like I don't know. I just love being in the mountains. Yeah. 
Visual one seven left, you know. There we go. I finally found the soft air. <laughs> Smooth. It's probably taking a nap back there. <laughs> I brought my wife over here a couple of years ago, and I showed her like I drove her down 24 because we were in Denver visiting, and then I had to drive all the way back to. I think it was still Del Rio at the time. Yeah, because we went through El Paso. Uh, but it's, you kind of just forget about how long it takes. You're just looking at stuff, you know? 290 and 12,000 United, 1682. How you doing? I feel better. Hands still feel tired, but I feel better. Good. Good. My hands are good. I wonder if you were just like really clenched there for a minute. I clenched while my hands were like this. Eat your sandwich. Eat your like your banana peanut butter, whatever. Drink something, eat something. Yeah, relax. Watch outside. You guys stop asking every two seconds, like, how are you feeling? <laughs> okay. I got autopilot on. Stop it.